Good day, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the uh, master cylinder brace. Okay, and we're going to see if the master cylinder brace actually works. A lot of you guys do know that our cars, they do have some kind of flex on the master cylinder. cylinder. Uh, when you press on the brake, you can actually see uh, the master cylinder uh, flexing, moving f uh, front and back when you actually press the brake. So the brace that I got is the Torque Solution brace. This is the brace all in black. Uh, it comes actually packaged. I just took the little extra crap out of it. So it comes with the brace with the nut already here. And you got a couple of bolts that will go into uh, the shock tower or the strut tower. Uh, there's like a couple holes there. Um, I don't know why, but these screws directly into those holes so i'm not entirely sure why subaru have like uh screw holes there um is they've had it for i don't know i had a 2003 wrx and i actually bought a brace for the master cylinder but i have no idea which i for completely forgot this was like eight years ago and to be honest i never knew if this actually worked just recently i actually saw that the brace, I mean not the brace, the uh, master cylinder actually flexes for the first time I've ever seen that and one of my buddies showed me. But yeah, so uh, installation should be pretty simple. Torque Solutions does not bring any installation instructions, but this is, I've done it before and it's pretty simple. It's just basically bolting this, you know, you get to unbolt like two bolts. So there is a couple of bolts. Uh, there's two bolts that hold uh, this bracket right here. You want to um, you're gonna unbolt those two and then there's a couple holes over here if hopefully I can Show you there's like a hole right here and there's like two more holes down there. So like I said installation should be pretty simple and Let's get to it Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, Like the fuel line bracket that is here. I'm gonna loosen up those two bolts. There's two bolts down there and uh, just move the bracket and then from there I'm going to put the brace um, here and then you tighten up the bracket back into the brace to those two holes back down there. Uh, all the bolts that are here uh, they're all going to be 12 millimeter I'm using a 12 millimeter with a little extension so I can just go around uh, the lines and then get this loosened up. All right, after you have those two bolts uh, taken it off, those bolts, you're not gonna not gonna use them again. You gotta use the supply bolts because these bolts are a little smaller. So, and the brace is pretty thick. So, you don't use these bolts anymore. You just use the ones that are supplied to you. You get uh, five, I believe, of them, which is all the holes that you need to cover. So, make sure you got five of these and then you should be good to go. Now putting the brace, just find a way to kind of put it in there. Um, I guess I can try to go from underneath all my lines because I do have all the lines or all the few lines are here. And then make sure that no lines are kind of, you know, like stuck or bent or, or something like that. And after you have it in there somehow, uh, make sure that the brackets from the fuel lines, there's there's like a bracket, but it's like two pieces of bracket. Just make sure that the brackets are on top of the, of the uh, brace. Now while you have the bracket here, try to find a hole on the top, which is this one right here. Try to just thread it in a little bit so you can have the bracket just kind of hang in there so that you can line up the, bolt, the holes on the bottom and um, then you can actually line up the bracket because this remember it's a two-piece bracket and then that's going to be a huge problem there and then none of these holes everything's on the way all right then the hardest thing is just to get at least one thread it was that was a little pain in the butt oh okay something that is going to be a pain in the butt is uh there's two bolts that are going to be like back here but underneath 
the brace. That is going to be a pain. Um, I think I'm going to try and try to thread him in there. Uh, I'm going to try to go from maybe underneath. As long as I get him threaded in there, I can use the ratchet with the extension and then hopefully get it nice and tight. So that's the one of the things I'm going to do before I even try to do the uh, bracket in front, which they're going to be just right there. At least they're in front. But those two back ones are going to be a pain in my butt. All right, let's see. One eternity later. Oh, crap. Oof. All right, I was able to thread those back there. Um, I'm telling you, if you have a top mount intercooler, it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it. Um, I had to like basically put my hand all the way down there in between everything through here, all these hoses here, and kinda, it's kinda like a weird angle and then, you know, thread it in. So all I got left is just to thread those two with the bracket and then all we gotta do is tighten it up and then um, mess with this, make it nice and tight. Okay, I got the bolts all threaded in. Um, now I'm gonna tighten them up and all the bolts are still 12, uh, I'm sorry, 10 millimeters. The big bolt to give pressure to the cylinder is gonna be a 13 millimeter, including this little nut right here. Everything's 13 millimeters and all the other bolts are gonna be 10 millimeters. Okay, so I have everything, every single bolt nice and tight and it's not moving anywhere so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start threading this bolt in and before it gets to the master cylinder i gotta make sure that i put this in between so it has a big surface It's hand tight right there. I'm just gonna give it a couple turns and see if it's nice and tight in there. Um, I don't have instructions to see how tight I should go, but I guess I'll push just a little, a little tight into the firewall and see how it goes. Things should be good there. Now let me tighten this nut out and then I'm gonna test it out and see how it does. See if it does uh, any changes. All right, let's test it out really quick. Okay, after testing out the uh, brake pedal and after actually reviewing the video, there is a little bit slight uh, change. It, it still moves a tiny little bit, but I think it's just the, the back. And I tighten it up just a little bit more, but I'm, I'm afraid if I tighten it up a little bit more, I might break something. But I'll do a little bit more research and check just in case um, how much you can tighten it up. Because of course the uh, it doesn't come with instructions, so it doesn't tell you how how much you tighten it up if uh, or anything basically. Um, it does feel a little bit of a like a stiffer breaker uh, brake pedal when I do it initially. Um, I haven't tested out in the street yet, but that's something that I'm going to do uh, later on. Uh, I don't think it's a night and day difference. There is a slight stiffness on the brake pedal but it's not it's not night and day but it, you, you can still notice it definitely you can still notice it so uh looking at the video and looking at uh before and after uh what do you guys think just leave me a comment below and tell me what you guys think you guys think that it will actually work or it doesn't work i mean 
it's, it's there there is something there there is something there is not it's not huge improvement but there is there is something there and i feel a little more confident knowing that when i hit the brake pedal it's going to be just quicker to uh react instead of that little mushy uh pedal from you know that that little i don't know quarter of an inch movement that it does so instead of a quarter of an inch movement now it's probably a couple centimeters of movement all right all right guys so that's pretty much it uh for today for this little quick video uh just leave me a comment below of what you guys think of the cylinder braces and you know just so we can discuss if you guys like it or not like it and that's pretty much it i'll see you guys on the next video